Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So I'm hoping and praying that the lighting in this video is gonna be okay. I have chosen a different section of my bedroom to try and film in because it's so sunny at the moment and I've been loving it. I'm really like enjoying sitting out in the sun. Um, but when I'm trying to film a video, it's not the best weather for that. But anyway, as you can tell from the title, today I'm gonna to be filming a March Favourites, which is something I haven't done in a really long time. I never film monthly favourites anymore, and I used to do it all the time when I lived back home, so I thought I'm gonna throw it back, and I am going to share with you everything that I have been loving over the last month or so. A couple of them are really recent things, um, but I just thought it would be a good opportunity to sit down, have a chat, and share a few of my favourite things with you. It's mostly food and beauty products but that's what we love to talk about on this channel, so let's get into it. So the first thing I actually wanted to mention is this jumper that I'm wearing. So I just featured this jumper in my previous video, which was an ASOS haul. So I haven't had this jumper very long, technically, but I have been wearing it pretty much every single day, even though it's been hot. I'm obsessed with it and I just keep wearing it. Um, but it's this jumper from ASOS, it says Berlin on it, and I just love the colour. It's super cosy and I will leave a link down below to this jumper if you want to check it out, but I love it so, so much. So that's the first thing. Um, I've also been loving this necklace, which is from... Anna Luisa. I worked with them a couple of months back. This video isn't sponsored by them, but they did very kindly gift me this necklace. Um, so yeah, I've been wearing this a lot and I just think it's super cute. It's got like a beaded chain, which I love. Um, and yeah, I've just been loving jewellery at the moment. I've got some cute little earrings in, which my mum got me quite a while ago. And I've also been loving having my hair like this two French plaits and there's some little bits down at the front. Um, also, whilst we're talking about hair, what do you guys think about the idea of dyeing these two front pieces of my hair like bleach blonde? Um, I know I'm blonde already, so it won't be like super obvious, but my hair isn't actually that blonde at the moment because I've been messing around with like different colors and stuff. I had it an orangey peachy color for a while and it's never really recovered. Um, but I keep seeing people online dyeing the front two pieces of their hair bleach blonde and I'm really, really vibing with it. So I'm kind of tempted to get my sister to do it when this is all over. Um, I don't know, let me know down below in the comments what you think. I reckon it would look quite cool. Um, but my hair also might fall out because these bits aren't in the best of condition. Anyway, moving on swiftly, I'm gonna get started with this first random thing, which is actually a book. So this is the book I finished reading really recently and I just wanted to share it with you guys. I know I've mentioned it quite a lot on this channel already, but it was a really great read. And I think if you're bored in isolation and you wanna get yourself a new book, this is a really, really great one to invest some of your time in. So it's Flowers in the Attic by Virginia Andrews. Now, the reason I read this book was because my mum read it when she was younger and she's always said to me that I should read this book because it's really good. So she got it for me for Christmas and I've just finished it now. Um, it takes me quite a long time to read, I won't lie. I did also read a couple more books before that and I read it quite quickly um, and I absolutely loved it. I'm not gonna give away what it's about. If you want to read the blurb, I will do this and you can pause the video. Um, but yeah, it's a really great book and again, I will leave a link down below to this if you want to check it out. But it's just so good and I actually found out it's a true story or like based on a true story which just makes it even more crazy and hard to believe that it's real but it's such a great story and I am going to be looking into getting the other books that go in this series because there's a couple more and I just want to know more now so yeah if you are looking for a good book to read definitely check this out it's a little bit weird it's a bit twisted but it's kind of different from your everyday like romantic novel and it's just um a very different book to anything I've ever read before and I highly highly recommend it I'm now going to move on to food and then I think I'll save beauty favourites until last. So the first thing, oh crap, just knocked my lamp over. The first thing I actually just took out of my fridge so I kind of need to hurry up and put it back in. Um, but it is this Innocent Bolt From The Blue juice. Now I tried this uh, a couple of months back and I keep getting this every single week when we do our food shop. We've been doing our food shop online rather than going into the supermarket um, because I've got asthma and my dad had a very serious heart operation last year. So we are trying to limit the amount of germs and stuff getting into our houses. Um, and I think my dad actually counts as like a high risk patient person type thing. So we're not going out to the supermarket unless really necessary. Obviously, if we can't get a slot on the supermarket website, then we will, but we have been getting food deliveries. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. I'm completely going off topic, but I've been loving these innocent juices. I've had the green one as well, which was okay. And I'm currently drinking the 
berry one which is really nice it's like very sour and delicious but this is my favorite one so that's why i thought i'd show you it um it's got guava lime apple coconut water blue spirulina and vitamins and it tastes incredible i don't like coconut but this tastes really good and i've just been having a glass of this every day and it's been making me feel really great so i thought i'd share that with you because it's really really delicious next up are some vitamins now again i think i featured these on my channel before but i really love them they are the bioglan vita gummies for women they're just like a women's multivitamin and they are vegan chewable vitamins which is really rare i can't swallow tablets i'm not very good at swallowing tablets so i have chewable vitamins and it's really hard to find ones that don't have gelatin in um but these are really delicious they come in like different flavors and yeah they're vegan which is great so i have been taking two of these every day and they're really delicious so if you're looking for a multivitamin get these actually i don't know why i'm recommending these because currently they're sold out everywhere so i don't know why i'm recommending more people to buy them because then there's going to be even less chance of me getting some more but i guess i'm just being a kind person and then the last food favorite is a tea so it's not really a food actually none of these are really foods two drinks and a vitamin um but this is the pucker mint matcha green organic tea i don't just mean this tea necessarily but i've been drinking a lot more herbal tea recently i've just been trying to to try and clear up my skin for one because my skin's been a mess at the moment it is actually finally starting to get better um but yeah i've been trying to drink more herbal tea i've been getting loads of headaches as well so i'm trying my best to like drink as much liquid as possible throughout the day and i don't want to keep drinking loads of caffeinated drinks because it's not great for me um so yeah this is a really nice one that i tried recently and i also really love the licorice and peppermint one that's my favorite but yeah just any kind of pucker uh herbal tea has been doing me the world of good and i just feel really healthy when i drink it so you know uh, moving on to beauty favourites, I've got three skincare products and a makeup product. So for skincare, the first thing is this cleanser, which is the Avene uh, Extremely Gentle Cleansing Lotion. Now, if you are an OG of this channel, actually not really OG, but if you've been watching for probably like the last year, I'd say, I used to be obsessed with this cleanser and this skincare brand. I used to use all of their skincare and my skin was really good and I don't know why I messed around with it and started trying other products, but I did and my skin got really awful. So I've gone back to what I know and what my skin likes and I've gone back to using this and thankfully my skin has cleared up. Um, I was recently using another skincare brand. I'm not going to say what it was because I don't want to give it a bad name. It might be good for some people but I got sent some skincare from a brand and I was so excited about it um, but my skin just got really bad when I was using it so I've stopped using that now. I've gone back to this and thankfully my skin's cleared up so um, I've ordered myself some more of this because I'm running out and also the moisturizer because i love the moisturizer in this range but yeah it's just really great for my skin i love it it makes my skin feel super clean um and it always clears it up so i've gone back to using this i've then got these which are the alex steiner pollution solution pads i've had these for so long you get 60 uh dual texture exfoliating pads in here which is so good you can pick these up in primark they're literally like five pounds and they are basically very very similar to the pixie glow tonic but it's just already in a little pad so you just take out the packet swipe it over your face and it's just really great for texture hydration and it's like a very light chemical exfoliator on your skin so i was using these to try and clear up any lumps and bumps on my skin and they have really really helped so yeah the mixture of these two products has been really really great for my skin and also this one which is a mask this is the pixie glow mud mask probably my all-time favorite like detox mask i love it i think it's great um it makes your skin feel like you've had a facial when you take it off and yeah i've just been loving this at the moment um i've been super into my skincare but also trying to keep it very simple because i find with my skin that when i put too many products on it and introduce too many new ingredients um it goes a bit crazy and hates me so yeah i've been sticking to these three and my skin has been really really good so if you're looking for a new face mask, definitely check out Pixie. And then the last thing I'm going to be sharing in today's video is a makeup product. And this is so old. I think I've had this for a really long time. It's probably actually out of date. Um, but this is the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in the shade Medium. Found it in my drawer and I basically use it underneath my eyes as a corrector because it's like a peachy colour. Um, but yeah, I've just been using it under my eyes because my favourite corrector was the bobby brown corrector and i used it all up and i just haven't got around to buying a new one and this 
was in my drawer back home so I've been using this instead and really really loving it. So they have been all of my favourite things that I've been loving over the last month. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below, let me know if you've tried any of these things or let me know what your current favourite bits are. Um, I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all staying really safe. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel as well because I um making lots more videos at the moment because i've got a lot more spare time um so again let me know if there's anything down below you want to see on this channel thank you for watching and i will see you very soon goodbye <laughs>